Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome to Pleasure Learning with Language and Linguistics. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about basic definitions in phonetics and phonology. This lecture is fresh one and it may cover syllabus outline prescribed by HEC. So in this lecture, you may have pleasure learning as well as comprehensive understanding of your syllabus to prepare your exams. Let's move to our contents. This lecture will go through the process of the production of speech and the organs of speech. The process of speech is the mechanism or the system for the production of speech sounds. All sounds in English language are produced according to the aggressive pulmonic air stream mechanism. It means sounds are articulated when air pushes up from the lungs to windpipe or trachea and leaves the body from the mouth or nose. So the production of speech sounds is the result of the movement of some active and passive articulator or speech organs. The term's organ of speech refers to the part of body in the larynx and the vocal tract that are involved in the production of speech sounds. Speech or vocal organs are used for producing human speech sounds. They are not exclusive for speech but also biological in nature. Organs of speech are articulators are lungs, oral and nasal cavity, larynx, pharynx, velum, tongue and lips. Production of speech sounds the organs of speech are lungs, oral and nasal cavity, larynx, pharynx, velum, or soft palate, tongue, and lips. So, lungs are the first one for the production of speech sounds because air starts from the lungs and ends in oral cavity. They are responsible for the respiration biologically and they are source of air pressure for producing the human vocal sounds. But for the production of human speech sounds, they are responsible to maintain the steady air pressure and controlled by intercostal or the muscles between the ribs and the diaphragm, the large sheet of muscles that separate the chest from the abdomen. So, lungs are the source of air pressure or air flow for the production of the human speech sounds. This is the first part after lungs that is responsible for the flow of the air. A logical function of larynx is protecting the lungs and preventing the entry of food and fluids from the trachea or windpipe. Trachea is Greek word which means neck. It is tube consisting of cartilage and leading from the larynx and connects to the lungs. The front of the larynx is called Adam apple. It produces voice for speech sounds and the source of sounds. The first point at which the flow of air is modified and it passes from the lungs is in the larynx where the vocal cord or vocal cords are located. It involves in the production of speech sounds like voicing, pitch and whispering. Next we have vocal cords or vocal folds. They are located in the larynx and they are like strings. During breathing, they are kept apart to allow the air passing freely across the glottis. And the glottis is, as you can see in the picture, is a space between the folds. They are responsible for producing vibration during speaking and to produce human speech sounds. Vocal tracts are the passage or the flow of the air or the production of the speech sounds. Nasal and oral cavity are called vocal tracts. Organs of vocal tracts that move to produce various speech sounds are lips, tongue, soft and hard palate, nasal cavity and lower jaw as you can see here in this picture. Nasal cavity are the combination of different articulators used for the production of human vocal sounds. So the organs of speech in oral and nasal cavities are lips, teeth, tongue, soft and hard palate. Cavity consists of upper articulators like upper lips, upper teeth, upper surface of mouth and pharyngeal wall. Lower articulators are lower lips, lower teeth and tongue. They are called superglottal organs. Larynx is above the larynx. It is called al balum in Arabic language and hala in Urdu or Hindi language. In pharyngeal sounds, the air flow is modified by tongue and constricted or stopped in the pharynx. There are no pharyngeal sounds in English language, but many Arabic languages or different dialects of the Arabic language have pharyngeal sounds. Production of human speech sounds is the process of the air stream mechanism or the process of human speech sounds. Sounds starts from the lungs 
through the windpipe or track and end in mouth or nose. This is called the air stream mechanism or the production of human speech sounds. The movement of air is called aggressor pulmonic air stream and the vocal tract is the passage of the flow of the air for the production of human speech sound. In contrast, vocal organs are the different articulators like lips, tongue, teeth. Vocal folds are located in the larynx and they are like strings in structure. They are responsible for producing vibration and for voiced and unvoiced kind of sounds. The space between the vocal tract is called glottis. Supraglottal organs are in above the larynx in oral and nasal cavity. Important organs of speech are lungs, oral and nasal cavity, larynx, pharynx, velum, tongue and lips. But important thing to consider is there is no pharyngeal sounds. The sounds, those are produced through the vocal organ that is called pharynx is not in English language. But these sounds are in Arabic language. I hope this lecture will be fruitful for you and you will have pleasure learning with language and linguistics. You can also visit this link to improve your comprehension and understanding about this lecture because you will have not only written transcript but also few questions related to this lecture.